Oh, welcome back, Steve's Retirement Corner. What I missed in my retirement planning. Not much of anything that that, that is uh made a material difference in, in our our life so far. How's that our retirement so far? And my guess is, man, if you if you <laughs> if you if you're watching a nut in Central Virginia talk about his daggone retirement, you probably haven't missed a whole lot of anything major either. You know, and you got the added benefit that there's a pretty daggone good chance that you uh you know a whole lot more about this junk than I do. <laughs> You've probably knocked out all the big stuff first, man, and that's important. The big stuff is ninety percent of this retirement game, man. You know, you knock that out, and it it helps with the uh with the other. You know, it either eliminates or. It helps you deal with the unknowns of retirement. And that's what everybody's really scared of, I believe. You know, it's easy to plan for something you can you can predict or know. But them unknowns, man, just by their name, they're, it's an unknown. There's no way you can really plan for it. You've probably daggone checked your... Run your numbers till your eyes bleed. You, you've gotten professional help from somebody who knows what the heck they're talking about. You know, they've at least uh, reviewed your your plan for retirement. You got a pretty good idea how you're going to handle insurance. You know, you uh, you you probably checked on your taxes. Not only taxes when you first retire, but down the line when you're you know 75, 80, 85 years old, you understand how that stuff works. Uh, you know, you figured in inflation into your plan you know you've run different scenarios you know you covered in big things man and it, it makes it, it it really takes care of the majority of retirement planning there's a lot involved in that stuff but i mean that's 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 the big stuff for retirement planning you got that stuff under control man and and you know it just makes things a little bit easier in retirement. You really haven't missed a whole lot. That's going to make a, a major difference in your plan, I don't believe. I don't, I mean, hey man, I don't know. But that's what I did. You knocked them big things out first. I think one of the best things anybody can do, and not just for retirement, but it, it helps a lot in retirement too is get your daggone expenses and your debt levels under control. If you do that, man, I'm telling you, retirement is a walk in the park. It makes up for so many mistakes that you might make. It, it, just, it just makes things so much easier, you know? My big thing was to get off on a good foot in retirement. Because, you know, if, you, if you're going into something and you have no idea what you're doing, if... if if you can don't screw up <laughs> you know and get off to a good start you know it it get, it builds confidence for you helps you get comfortable and it uh it gives you time uh, you know to test the water so to speak you know before anything major happens you know and confidence builds on itself man and that was my big thing. I mean, I didn't want to make no no major screw ups these first few years of retirement. You know, it's um, yeah, you know, the biggest thing you know, the biggest thing to remember, man, is you can only control so much. You know, I got no control over whether they pay Social Security out or not. That's going to be up to somebody else. I got no control over the economy, you know, the inflation. Will I get become disabled or not? You know, I can control how I react to them, and uh, I can try to prevent that stuff from affecting me. Is about all I can do. You know. So I mean, I, I I tried to control whatever I could, and I tried to protect my downside financially. I was part of that that insurance thing I was talking about last week. 
you know I paid a I pay a little bit higher premium but I got a lot lower deductibles and co-pays if I'd have self-insured I could have been on the hook for a lot of money a pile of money which could have affected me down the line somewhere you know if I got a, a cheaper premium you know I might not have been on, on the hook for as much money but if I'd have had higher co-pays and deductibles I, I still could have been on the hook for quite a few thousand dollars and that might have affected me down the line it's the same for my planning for Social Security the reason I'm taking it you know my plan is at 68 now you know it's to protect me from financial ruin later in retirement when I have a better chance of running out of money, uh, inflation affecting me, and all this other junk, you know. You hear so much about retirement. There's so many, so much noise about retirement out there. And, I, you know, it just, it was confusing to me, and I didn't know what to believe and what not to believe. Retirement is something, Doc, that you actually have to get out into in order to, to see how you're going to do in it. You know, you can plot and plan all you want, but when the rubber meets the road, Doc, that's when you really find out what happened, how it is. You know, the easier you can make it, you knock out that big stuff, and uh, it just makes it easy to deal with the stuff that you can't foresee. Yeah. I don't know, man. Oh, you know what, man? Hey, I feel terrible. I did not wish anybody a happy Father's Day. I didn't even think about it. <laughs> Didn't even realize it, to be honest with you. But I, I hope you guys had a had a good Father's Day. Maybe you met with family or had a dinner or at least got a telephone call or something. You know, it to me, Father's Day don't mean a whole lot. I <laughs> you know, it's just another day for me. So, you know. But we had a... We actually went out, and I think we got Mexican last night, so. It was you know, nothing major. Just kind of another day for us over here. But uh, I apologize for that. It's uh, just not something I, it come across my mind till it was too late. But I, I sure hope you enjoyed it. I, you deserve it, man. But y'all take care of yourselves, man. You enjoy this beautiful week coming up. It's going to be hot and humid here. <laughs> Had to water the garden this morning. Speaking of which, I got my first cucumber last night. <laughs> so we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully I'll get a handful of squash this week. We'll see. That's early for us. But y'all take care, man. You enjoy the rest of your week, and we'll talk to y'all later.